uh, the importance of research in education. So research in education is uh, critical, I would say, uh, because um, we, we all know that uh, there is a lack. There, they, they, we have, uh, I think from uh, recent research, we have uh, about 78% of children not learning in Africa, in Sub-Saharan Africa, if I may speak from the context of Sub-Saharan Africa. So that means that uh, we need to have um, programs that work. But how do we identify these programs that work? The best way to identify a program that works is uh, uh, having a research, an action research, let's say, or applied research that will uh, inform the uh, what curriculum can work for these children. And, and they're out of school for, or they're not learning for various reasons. Uh, they're not learning because of uh, the pandemic, number one. They're not learning because of uh, the uh, political uh, instability. Uh, uh, they are refugees somewhere. They are not learning because uh, because of maybe their geographical location. Like uh, if I can speak, for instance, my country, Kenya, we have uh, children in the arid and semi-arid regions who are always migrating because mm -hmm. they, are, they are going in search of water, in search of food, in search of everything. And so you find that these children are not learning. So we need programs that will actually work for these children. And, and, and you cannot, it cannot be business as usual. The program that work for a child who is there from eight to eight to five or eight to four will not work for these children. So we'll need um, uh, research to determine what will work for this uh, group of learners who are not learning for whatever reason. Okay. And um, I think to what this is one of the things that we were looking at when we organized a, a, a research symposium, it was around improving uh, learning. And, and we are asking uh, uh, the the policymakers and, uh, and and the academicians and the development world. Uh, we are interested in knowing how do we help this group that is not learning. Mm -hmm. And so we brought people together to come and and, and sit and discuss and and share um, projects that have worked elsewhere, with the hope that for those who are not um, who are having this challenge, can actually pick and contextualize. Mm -hmm. and, and be able to help these children so that no child is left behind. Je suis totalement d'accord avec euh, la réflexion de Yvonne sur l'importance de la recherche en, en éducation. Euh, euh, effectivement, euh, à notre niveau, je disais tout à l'heure à José que la stratégie que nous avons adoptée était effectivement... Euh, en fait, la stratégie, ce n'est pas Africa 21 qui l'a adoptée, mais c'est le, les pays eux-mêmes. Euh, donc, ils sont venus euh, avec euh, cette idée euh, de faire cet appel à communication pour recenser euh, justement les différents résultats de recherche euh, pour pouvoir collaborer efficacement avec euh, les ministères, euh, les, les, les instituts de recherche, mais les universités aussi, euh, pour euh, avoir de la matière euh, justement pour les éclairer euh, par rapport à la prise de décision sur telle ou telle problématique en éducation. Donc, il faut euh, le, mettre l'accent sur ça, il faut le souligner. C'est vraiment euh, les pays euh, qui, qui, qui ont les idées qui émergent à partir des réflexions que nous menons euh, avec eux et qui mènent aussi avec les autres pays. C'est pour ça que cette notion de réseau est, a été très importante et, et déterminante aussi pour euh, ce, ce foisonnement d'idées, ce, ce foisonnement aussi euh, euh, d'initiatives qui est en train d'être, euh, euh, en tout cas, mise à jour euh, grâce euh, justement à, à cet important programme euh, qui est le Kix. Donc, euh, ça, c'est un point que je voulais souligner, un point important. Yeah, I think I can pick on that, and I think we are we are all in agreement that research is important for education. And the assumption here is that research is asking the questions and providing some answers that the policymakers need, but sometimes they are not in communication. And Kix here is brokering that space. He's trying to connect people who have knowledge or are producing knowledge and people who are in need of that knowledge to use it, to make sure that policies then are evidence informed. We're not saying that it's evidence uh, based because there's a lot within a policy that is goes beyond evidence, but so that the people who are using the knowledge they are considering research, considering good research, and we are in our hubs, we are, cons we are worried about 
the quality of the research that we are mobilizing, the quality of research we are supporting. And for that, we are uh, working on a framework that is evaluating well the research that we are mobilizing and we are promoting. And um, we believe that making those links is where our hubs have the strength, connecting knowledge producers with knowledge users so that policymakers can be able to listen better to the researchers, to the research that is relevant to them, and we can facilitate that space. And we have been facilitating in different ways. Um, so I would like to hear from your hubs as well, uh, successful examples of this and how you plan to do it as well for the next uh, stages of Kicks 2.0. In our hub, we, are, we will make sure that we are aligned with the priorities of GPE's country work, because we know that there are so many demands we want to focus and we want to make sure that we support the research that is meaningful for that specific point in time of the, of the, of the governments. So we want to be linked with the policy cycles so that we can provide on time the support and the choices that the government needs at, uh, at the right time. So uh, we believe that uh, education systems, we really need a coalition here to make it work. Uh, it's not that all, only research can change, only research with policymakers, with practitioners, come together, unite, make sure that we have a collective thinking on how we can improve um, the, their own systems. And the hub here are facilitating this, this dialogue and the, the connections and the bridges. I think you've said something very important uh, about the priorities, because um, for, for research to be um, taken up or to be effective, then it has to align with the country's priority. That, I, as long as it aligns, they will think twice about it. Like, oh, this is so, it can solve this problem. And we, and we saw that a lot uh, during COVID. There was a lot of research happening in countries. And uh, when they, the presentations were made on how they went about this research and what is happening and, and the, how they're using it, we saw a lot of countries picking up because of the priority at, the, at that particular time. They really needed it. So I think you've, you, you're very right in saying we need to prioritize also in line with what uh, the government's priorities are. Ce qui est important à, à souligner également euh, dans ce, ce, cette réflexion sur la recherche, euh, nous avons organisé un atelier euh, l'année dernière avec euh, nos équipes de coordination nationale. Et cette question de recherche était encore une fois au cœur de la réflexion. Et dans les recommandations, donc au niveau de Kicks Afrique 21, euh, nous nous basons sur euh, ce qui ressort des discussions avec les pays, mais aussi les recommandations pour aller vers les, les étapes suivantes. Et dans les recommandations, il a été clairement défini euh, qu'il fallait intégrer euh, euh, un universitaire dans l'équipe de coordination nationale. Donc, ils avaient commencé déjà à, à cette époque de prendre conscience de, de l'importance de la recherche en éducation. Je pense que à partir du moment où cette équipe de coordination nationale est composée de toutes les parties prenantes de l'éducation, que ce soit encore une fois les partenaires techniques et financiers, la société civile, le monde de la recherche, toutes les décisions qui seront prises au niveau, en tout cas de manière consensuelle, aura probablement un impact Euh, au niveau du, de, des politiques publiques d'éducation et, et, et sera partagé au sein des... des en tout cas, la réflexion euh, 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 permettra d'approfondir le dialogue au niveau euh, politique, au niveau national. Et ça, c'est important d'avoir un consensus autour euh, de, de ces questions de recherche parce que il faut le dire, je pense qu'ils vont la souligner. Euh, le monde de la recherche travaille, bien entendu, euh, pour alimenter euh, la science, pour développer la science mais il n'y a pas d'interaction avec les ministères de l'éducation, alors que leur objectif aussi, c'est de participer en tout cas au, au développement social et économique mmh. des pays. Et, et ça, ils ont un rôle fondamental à jouer là-dedans. Et je pense que euh, ce que Kix est en train de faire euh, en ce moment, le travail important que nous sommes en train de mener au, au niveau de notre euh, hub et, et des différents hubs aussi, c'est un travail qui va... Euh, sans doute euh, 
euh, nous emmener à cette, euh, j'ai pas envie de, j'ai envie de dire fusion, mais en tout cas, cette interaction euh, avec euh, le monde universitaire et, et le monde de l'éducation pour enfin avoir euh, les, les données, les résultats de recherche pour alimenter les, publics, les euh, politiques publiques d'éducation. Il faut savoir que le, le, la donnée, c'est la base euh, de l'éducation. C'est avec la donnée que, que nous allons construire les fondations euh, euh, de, du système éducatif. Sans les données, eh bien entendu, nous ne pourrons euh, pas bâtir des systèmes éducatifs résilients de qualité et inclusifs. I just want to say that, that, that I think it's, of course, research is important for education, is important for development, for social peace. Uh, Martin Luther King would say that uh, peace is not the lack of, of tension uh, or the lack of conflict, but actually the presence of social justice. And for so, social justice to occur in our continent, we need better education definitely and and to have better education we need better research and why is that that we need that research is because our problems are different uh, the processes by which these this uh, problems occur uh, are different in each locality in each context and therefore the solutions as well can be in some cases common but in other cases definitely uh, have to be contextualized and and of course we have very distinct but very Um, painful uh, problems in our in our region. We have, in the case of Latin America, after Syria, the most uh, disastrous migration process, which is the Venezuelan process right now, mm. uh, which creates a whole population of children uh, who, are, who are migrating and therefore are not really fulfilling the right to education, receiving the right to education. Uh, we have a LGTBI population in which we have research that shows that around two thirds of children that auto-identify as part of the LGTBI population are bullied uh, in their schools. When we ask who are bullying them, uh, are their, their teachers, not, not the other children. Uh, we have imprisoned youth in Central America that are not receiving education, but not only in Central America, even in more developed countries in South America, We see that, uh, for example, in prison, women and teenagers, uh, girl teenagers, are, uh, do not receive education. Uh, in, so although they are under the protection of the state itself, they are not receiving, the, they're not guaranteed the right to education. So I could follow with, with uh, ethnic minorities, disabled uh, uh, in the, uh, pers uh, people, etc. And they are, different invisible populations uh, invisible not because they ex don't exist but because our systems are not recognizing them and we believe in the importance of recognizing valuing and constructing upon diversity but to do that we need research first of all to make them visible to know what are the gaps in our region and that therefore we need research done on the ground by from the south for the south Uh, and that's why NORAC says in, in its uh, campaign, the South also knows. Uh, it's not necessarily, uh, sometimes uh, it, even it could not, maybe it doesn't know, but the point is it should know mm -hmm. because uh, uh, and, 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 and probably the countries are the better placed to know what should be the, I mean, what is the gap and what should be done about the gap. Uh, so uh, in that sense, of course, uh, research is fundamental for that and therefore to link that knowledge and those solutions into policy making. Now, um, there, there are two ways in which that uh, research, and we have done as, as well that research, the research and knowledge can have an effect on the political process and the police policy process. Uh, of course, one is directly with working with the Ministry of Education, and we have talked in this Uh, program and, and the previous ones about the importance of the Arians policy link uh, in a more lineal way, if you want. But there are other ways in which, uh, in a democratic setting, we can think of in which research can provide power to unpower, uh, un, uh, yeah, unpowered uh, populations, let's say teachers, that need more research on the importance on non-teaching lecturing time. 
uh, if there are teachers with non-lecturing time, it is very difficult for a teacher to plan their, their, their lectures, to do uh, formative feedback, etc. In order to negotiate those times and those resources uh, with the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Education, well, teacher unions sometimes need much more research in showing the importance of, for example, that time. It's not that the teachers are, 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 are looking for more um, free time. No, it's that they, without that time, uh, actually quality gets uh, uh, compromised. Uh, so also knowledge is not only for directed towards, let's say, policymakers themselves in a more linear manner, but also in providing uh, information and therefore knowledge is power, power therefore, in a good sense, in a democratic sense, to, to provide better negotiation tools and have a better negotiation for the welfare of countries uh, in, in, uh, as different actors also empower themselves in the political discussion that is in the Congress or that is in the streets, whatever, through social movements. Uh, so I think we also have to be civilized that. It's not only, always a linear process through uh, going into the Ministry of Education, it's through the Congress, through a, a political process. Um, now, from LAC system, uh, LAC uh, hub, we are promoting research in different manners. So we have talked this in other chapters of this program, but just a recap for those who are listening right now. One is to create new research. And the way we have created new research, and we think we, it's quite novel, is that we're working together with ministries of education that are part of the KICS hub, but even beyond. And for example, just to put an example that I think is quite interesting, is that we have developed the largest ever done survey in Latin America in COVID, in which we surveyed 200,000 teachers uh, in 21 countries. Uh, and there, therefore we have information and the voice of teachers saying what really happened in their, in their classrooms during COVID. So it's not an, an official account of what we think happened. It is actually what happened according to the teachers who were in the ground. And therefore we have this information that is quality information, which has been coordinated with the Ministry of Education. So this is not an online survey in Facebook, which whoever can respond, no, it is a very well methodologically done. It is comparable, which again, there's always a gap in our countries. For example, if we see the global north, we have the OECD. The OECD, you can compare Finland with Germany and Portugal, but you cannot compare, you know, Honduras with Nicaragua with Grenada. Uh, and, and, and that is, it's of course, a limitation uh, compared to learn, of course, and to improve collectively. And what this survey is allowing is for these comparisons to happen, for these learnings to happen. Uh, so we're creating new research. We're mobilizing research through research symposiums and research magazines as well that we have created. And also, and most importantly, we believe really, is that we are promoting and actually doing evidence synth synthesis. And again, there's a, a call that we do uh, from, from, for, from Kicks Hub, and, I, I, and, and, and we know that it's shared by the rest of the hubs, of the importance of, sh of synthesizing knowledge both in terms of pedagogical practices, in terms of that actually work and have impact, proven impact, um, but also in terms of reforms. What are those re reforms and policy reforms that prove to be successful in history? Uh, and therefore we have to um, study them very thoroughly, understanding their contexts. And finally, in terms of also synthesis of what innovations work and are promising, uh, and that have evidence, not only in terms of impact, but most importantly, in terms of also if they are replicable uh, and scalable, basically for the use of the countries. So we're talking about the importance of research and education. Let's remember our KICS Hub's contribution to it. So KICS AP, that is hosted by NORAG in Geneva, uh, we are benefiting from the from the vision and leadership of our director, Professor Gideshan Ramsey. And uh, our vision is that we are supporting knowledge generation. So supporting 
experts, researchers from from our uh, home countries to f address gaps in terms of knowledge, in terms of research, to support their own education systems. But we're also mobilizing existing research, not only research from our countries, but also research that is already available from the Global North, that is globally available, to see where we can have cross-learning, where we can have exchange. So um, we believe that by having a joint reflection, we can better uh, see the use of research. If we want to, to synthesize a saying that we all want to synthesize what is also already available, but if you want to synthesize kicks in a sentence, we are saying that we are all trying to make knowledge useful. Mm -hmm. So knowledge from our countries, knowledge that is available from the Global North, we want to make knowledge useful, knowledge that can be used for education systems implementation, can be used for better reforms and better learning to our countries. Definitely. Très intéressant, euh, très intéressant tout ça. Euh, euh, je voudrais euh, juste euh, dire euh, rapidement euh, que le Kicks Afrique 21 est, est constitué d'un consortium euh, qui est composé, euh, j'ai parlé tout à l'heure de l'Agence la, universitaire de la francophonie, euh, qui est dans le cœur de métier et, et les questions de recherche, qui est un vaste réseau euh, d'universitaires et, et de chercheurs, mais aussi euh, de la CONFEMEN, euh, la Conférence des ministres euh, de l'éducation des États et gouvernement de la francophonie, qui a à son sein un outil important et, et un outil essentiel qui est donc le PASEC, le PASEC qui évalue euh, les systèmes éducatifs euh, de la plupart de nos pays euh, d'Afrique centrale, d'Afrique de l'Ouest et, et de l'Océan Indien. Donc nous avons aussi l'Organisation internationale de la francophonie qui dispose d'un tas euh, d'éléments euh, de, de, de recherche aussi et, et donc, euh, toutes ces institutions, euh, euh, au-delà au de ce qui va être produit au niveau des pays, mettront euh, à disposition, en, en tout cas, euh, au pays de, de la, de, des données, euh, de la matière, en tout cas, pour pouvoir alimenter, encore une fois, les politiques publiques d'éducation. Donc, ça, c'est aussi une force euh, que le Kix, une opportunité, en tout cas, immense, que le Kix offre au, 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 à nos différents pays euh, partenaires, au-delà de ce qui sera produit également au, au niveau des pays. I think uh, basically, uh, like you said, kicks. Um, we support both uh, knowledge production mm -hmm. and uh, uh, also mobilize knowledge that is uh, uh, that is already there, and um, uh, that's uh, the big part of of, uh, of us. And uh, uh, whether it's uh, uh, knowledge from uh, the south or from the north, mm -hmm. I, I think the whole idea is we make this uh, available so that countries have a point of reference. And, and I think that is the vision of all the hubs that, uh, that we should have uh, knowledge available for countries to to make reference to. And um, uh, for Kicks uh, African and Teen, even as we go forward to the 2.0, we are looking uh, to even um, start going deeper and looking for uh, younger researchers, for instance. Uh, yeah, research has been, uh, General, I, I know I started by saying uh, renowned uh, researchers who uh, are accepted, but also what about the younger generation, uh, the younger researchers? We also need to, as we, we go to 2.0, uh, we are focusing on uh, young upcoming researchers uh, who can uh, then grow as well with the hub. So we will be assisting them, building their capacity. And at the same time, also they are learning from the, those who are already there so that uh, we have this uh, stream just uh, coming uh, so that there's, there's no gap in between that uh, uh, the, the, this, the old guys are gone and now uh, there's no more research. So we're, we're trying to, to also bridge that gap, even as we bridge the gap between the researchers and, and, and the policy makers. We're also trying to ensure that this, that knowledge management, that, that, that knowledge continues. And uh, we are also uh, uh, keen on making sure that uh, the universities uh, work together with the, uh, with the ministries. Uh, because I, I think that's also uh, an area that we saw during uh, uh, the last symposium that we had, uh, uh, the, the uh, academics making uh, complaining that there's, there's a dis disconnect. I think this this came from both the academics and the policy makers that there's a disconnect between academicians and, and the policy makers, and and it is very important as kicks that we bridge that gap, because there's a lot of uh, of research coming from academics, but then. Uh, very good research, but they're not used. So uh, we're looking at how can we bridge this gap 
so that uh, then uh, research can inform uh, education uh, as we continue. From the kick slack uh, hub, basically, I, I, I want to just maybe highlight uh, that we, we applaud really and congratulate uh, this very bold uh, initiative uh, and, and, and IDRC and GPE taking uh, the risk, let's say, as our institutions, SUMA, OECS, and the rest of the institutions that that host the the, um, the KICS uh, hub initiatives. Um, because I think uh, it is bold indeed to to try to connect uh, different actors that, that usually are not basically working together, which are researchers, which are practitioners on the ground, which are uh, policymakers in government, among other uh, actors, and and to try to make them work in terms of evidence production, evidence mobilization, with a view of having an impact. So, so I think it's a it's a bold uh, initiative, uh, ambitious, and and but on the other hand, realistic in the way that we have been working in the last years, uh, and we envisage that the second phase will be very important to start seeing, to start harvest, harvesting uh, results. And, and maybe I think that the main challenge probably, uh, I don't know if you all agree, but for us is that we always say, if we don't change a life, if we don't change children's education in reality, uh, all of this really is uh, uh, meaningless. So, so of course we have to be very uh, enthusiastic about everything that we're doing. But on the other hand, we have to remember that as long as we don't change children's education, we haven't done yet anything. That's the that's sentence you had in the, in, in the end of your presentation. That was quite good. So there is a phrase from Gabriela Mistral, which is an old prize of literature in Chile, which says, uh, basically, today is, the, is when we have to make this change because tomorrow it will be too late. So we have to actually be able to do th I mean, we have the chance, uh, and I think we're all aware, this is a great chance to, to work from South-South, but also together with the North partners into improving education. And again, we cannot, education cannot wait. Pour compléter justement euh, ce que tu es en train de dire, euh, c'est formidable. Nous sommes finalement dans un écosystème et avec plusieurs acteurs, avec plusieurs idées qui foisonnent, et qui est basée sur l'intelligence collective. Et, et je pense que c'est seulement comme ça euh, que nous allons contribuer efficacement à nourrir la réflexion au sein de nos politiques, euh, en tout cas des dialogues politiques, mais aussi à, à nourrir la réflexion pour alimenter efficacement les politiques publiques d'éducation. Totally ça, c'est le Kix 2.0, <laughs> mais c'est aussi yeah, l'avenir. <laughs> we support that, we support that. That's all for this discussion. I'm Yvonne Rispamboya, looking forward to talking with you all again. And thanks to IDRC for organizing.